All right, let's check this guy out. 3x minus y is less than 6. Okay, you know it's dash, but I think somebody wanted to get y by itself first. How do you get y by itself? So subtract the 3x, what do I have now? Negative y is less than. Negative 3x plus 6. Be very careful with your signs. I know how that messes up a lot of you. And then I'm going to do what? Divide by negative 1. See, you know I'm going to have something like this, right? Yeah. What's the purpose? Uh, why, why would I have where you have to divide by negative 1? So this looks like what now? Y is greater than 3x minus 6. So, what's my slope? 3 over 1. What's your y-intercept? Man, you guys are just owning this problem. That's right. You tell it. You, you give it to Yeah. Now, I think, Jennifer, you'd say it's what kind of line? What says it's a dashed line? Because of the greater than but not equal to? And I'm going to shade where? Up. Up. I'm going to shade above. Now, if you look at just the original guy, a lot of students get confused and they say, oh, it says y is less than. I'm going to like shade below and stop. <laughs> well, you better solve for y like I told you to so that you shade in the correct region. So y intercept is 0, negative 6. You are putting, uh, putting an open circle there, right? My slope is 3 over 1. It's positive, so I'm going up 3 over 1. And I'm going to have a dashed line going through all of this. So it's my dashed line, shade above. Which way is above here? And you could kind of say to the left, but you know we're talking about going up here. So if you're not sure about above or below, just take a point and go either up or down from that. So going up here means I'm talking about shading in that region. Any questions about what I have for this graph? Yeah. 